Hi Steve, Suffolk Sifter. I've come back to this uh, radish field where I got rained off two or three days ago. We didn't find heck of a lot, but I'm going to give it another shot. I'm still on Gary's Ultimate at 8 kilohertz and just going to go for it. Birds are singing. We've had a good rain before it turned out. It's all stopped now. Fingers crossed we're going to have a dry day. And as I always say, please, 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 if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and the bell and you can get notification of future videos and my Wednesday live stream, YouTube, every Wednesday, 9 p.m. UK time. If you haven't been, drop in. It's a good laugh. Sometimes we keep on the actual topic, but we normally drift off and just have a bit of a chinwag. There's a good bunch on there. If you pop along, that'll be even more fun. Okay, as I said, this field, you and me, we're going to give it another go. We're restricted on fields, but at least we've got one. So let's crack on and see what we can find. Thanks for joining me and let's get kitted up and get out there. Okay, same field, slightly different weather. Um, last time I just started at the crop line and went down and up and down and got wet, wet, wet and eventually just went down the bottom edge to that far oak tree and stayed under there then done a diagonal back and then that was it. So I'm going to pick up go on the up and downs but this stuff this radish I think they're radish the stalks are so unforgiving I can't swing properly so there's a bit of a ball patch here sl or slightly balder patch and we'll start there and then you just do me up and downs and see what we can find so away we go what are we waiting for let's go metal detecting and if I find anything you'll be the first to know thanks for joining me I forgot to add where that path is there and, and about from this far in there's loads of bricks and tiles and general just rubbish really and it's absolutely uber noisy so sort of from, from about this line that seems to quieten down a bit so i would imagine there must have been a building there in the past what they used to do i don't know but it's, it's like a, a tip anyway just flick this out probably gonna be nothing i just thought i'd dig it it's a high 90 and I'm only just out of the rubbish line, so it could well still be rubbish. What's in here? Oh, it's going to be trash. It's going to be trash. Well, I don't know what it is. This looks like aluminium. Oh, I know what it is. It's going to be, well, I was going to say, it's going to be some sort of a screw fit bowl, but it might be like a reflector part of the lamp or something. But anyway, it looks like there's a contact on there. And regardless, it's just rubbish, so we'll, we'll move on. Not quite out of the rubbish zone yet. We're still getting um, bottle tops and pool rings. So I'm hoping once we go further into the field, we'll, uh, we'll lose all that. Okay, I thought it was. I think I'm far enough away. <laughs> it's quieting down anyway. So 85, 87 here. So we'll give it a go. But it's, it's quite noisy, Gran. I've got Gary's ultimate. I'm still in there. It's 88 at the moment. I'm not going to hold my breath or anything brilliant, but. You never know. Just, if you've got to find it first, haven't you? And as usual, it disappears into the ether. Eventually. It better be something. <laughs> After all that. Oh dear. Oh, blimey, it looks well, it's nice and shiny. Please be silver. <laughs> well, something, isn't it? It's all pretty mashed up. It's fairly light. It looks silver. I'll just give it a quick spritz with me drinker and get back to you. There we go. Clean with orange squash. I must get myself a spritzer. Um, I, I doubt it is silver. But it's, it's 
is definitely something. There's a, a centerpiece with some detail on, and around the edges, there's looks like little a little rope or something. It's quite delicate, isn't it? And if I think I pushed it, <laughs> it can well break. So I'm not. I'm going to resist the temptation to start straightening things up. But it is something, isn't it? So uh, yeah, as a result, although it's probably not a coin, but I don't know. I can't make it out at the moment. You may see it better than me with my poor old eyes. We'll clean it up and we'll put it on the uh, on the video later on. Why is a 62? Mm, uh, so that was scratchy and I thought, well, it's about 10 inches down. I can probably see a nice green bit of trash looking at me here. And uh, there it is. So once again, alive. Dig those horribly wrong. Not even a bit of crotal, look, just a bit of randomness. Nice, 52, about 8 inches down, we're on the buttons, we're on the four hole buttons. 71, a rubby signal. Ooh, don't you love it when you lose a signal? Hey lad! It's rubbish. It's a teeny tiny handle off a spoon. That is very small, isn't it? For a spoon. Maybe it's a paddle. I don't know. Little mole's boat. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like a handle for a spoon or a fork or something, but very, very small. I was going to say OMG. I've got a coin at 67. I thought, yay, it looks coins, 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 coins. Uh, it's a four-hole button. It's a four-hole button. Well, still staying fine, which is good. Decidedly lack of uh, decent signals to dig, but uh, this one is at 79.81. It was ooh, eight, ten inches down. So let's see what rubbish we have in this clod. ground's nice and flaky here which is good and bad because here we go can't find it again I don't know it's that big that I can't find it oh, he's that big I can see it it's rubbish oh well not a coin it's well you tell me, it's a lump of something. Can't say if it's lead or not. It feels lead. It's quite heavy, but I don't know, boys and girls. It's just a lead object. No idea, unless you do. Oh, it's hot. It's overcast, but it's blooming hot. Ground's hard as well. This is where the definitely trashy, very, very trashy signals are. Just done a couple of up and downs and uh, just stopped for a quick blow and a drink, really. Not found a heck of a lot so far, but that little silver thing is quite intriguing. We'll have to see what that is when we get, um, get it washed up. So stick with me. Fingers crossed for a coin. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask the audience on this one very very loud 96 had a signal all over the place eventually got come out of that little pocket there i was just slightly off it's very heavy now i don't think it's, <laughs> it's a bomb well i haven't said that no it's not a shell is it it's very heavy it's egg shaped it is very heavy i can't see any sort of machining or like it was made and but it's very very heavy i dare say that would um kill you if you're on the wrong side of it but what the heck is it got no idea so hand it over to you on that one like an egg but not an egg and it's very 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 heavy
nice repeatable 84. I'm not really well up on, on rounds and bullets and things, but do you think this is possibly a bullet? You know, the end was launched out at somebody. Looks like a hollow in the there, and it looks sort of to be the right sort of shape, doesn't it? You tell me. I mean, if anybody can uh, give me a caliber, <laughs> you'll be doing well. But yeah, it feels heavy enough to be the projectile of a round. All right, good 85 and a good sort of ooh, getting down for about 10, 11 inches. And this is why we wear gloves, boys and girls. Bottle. Can't tell you what it is, but I'm guessing probably a spirit bottle of some sort. But yeah, that could have had me. I haven't got gloves on. I had all sorts of infections. So wear your gloves. 89, I can see that's rubbish. It's a, it's a long thing. It's like a Toblerone bar. A bit smaller. And it's beginning to rain. Well, there we go. It's started to rain on me again. So, unfortunately, no coins. So, what did we learn? Well, we learned that this particular field is very, very trashy near the track, which could mean there was a building of some sort there in a previous life. There's lots of bricks and tiles and stuff knocking about. I've also learned that these things radish or otherwise are uh, right pain stops you swinging also would like to learn what the heck this is it's i don't know sort of egg shaped and it's heavy it's definitely lead and it's big so i've got no idea i've learned you've got to wear gloves because if not you're going to cut yourself and open yourself up to the risk of disease and what I haven't learned is what this is yet this little silver thing looked like a coin in the middle of a circle with little rope braids around it but I don't know so sorry about that it's uh, how the cookie crumbles um, just goes to prove that you don't always come away from a a search with Romans and silver hammers. If you did, it'd get quite boring, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't, would it? No. But anyway, thanks for you for coming out with me. Thanks to the new subscribers. And, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.